Hi, everyone. So today, uh, now I'm going to uh, tell you guys about the improvements on point of sale. So the first question, why point of sale? So you guys are aware of this, one of the most famous uh, marketplace apps called Pause Awesome. So it was built by a community member. It was open source. But then something happened, and they closed source it. So users who were using the Pause Awesome, they tried to find alternative for it. Uh, so we, the Afternex Pause already was already existing, but it was missing some vital features, uh, and we decided to like, yeah, why not improve our point of sale and maybe fill the gap which was left by Pause Awesome. So what are the improvements? So first, uh, now on po point of sale, you can use both pause invoice and sales invoice. So earlier, at the day end, you were only able to get the GL entries and the stock ledger entries during pause closing at the time of pause consolidation. But now, if you configure it to use uh, sales invoice from the point of sale, it will be posting the GL entries and stock ledger entries right at the time of selling. So, <coughs> yeah, so now this is like small demo where like you can see like both uh, account, like accounting ledger and the stock ledger both you can see right at the point of selling. Next. Next, we have draft invoice. So suppose there's a situation where your customers decided to drop off in the midway of billing. So now user, the point of sale user have the choice to either save it or discard it, depending upon the situation. So if they decide to save it, they can get back from the recent order and then edit it and then they can add item discard item, and then complete the order finally. Yeah. Next, we have split payments. So earlier, it was there in the ERP Next point of sale, but the UX was not so great. Like, you were, the clarity of which payment method was being selected by the user was not like it was not clarity like it's it you didn't have much clarity so now we like improved the user experience and polished a bit and then you can use both like in the demo you can you have seen like uh, we have used both on screen numpad and the physical keyboard simultaneously to enter the amount and you can also change the payment method using physical keyboard too next we have additional details on pause so so as you can, like, it's uh, the invoice, like the pause invoice field, like in the pause invoice doc type or the sales invoice doc type, there are like multiple fields, but all the fields are not visible on the point of sale screen. So we decide like on the, from the pause settings, you can configure it, like add the field name, whatever you want to, or like make sure like the user uses it like fields it during the uh, during completion of the order so they can mark it as mandatory and enter the default value and if suppose there's no default value but it is marked as mandatory it will make sure that the during order completion uh, you fill the field and then only you can complete the order finally is this one was the most requested feature like People have raised a uh, GitHub issue. People have raised it through support gates that the item names are too large. I mean, they are long, like it is too long. So in that case, uh, the on the grid view, what happens was that, what was happening that the item name was getting clipped and all. So therefore uh, we decided, like we decided to make a, uh, list view for it, item list view. So now you can see all the, like the proper item names, like the full item name, yeah. 
and we fixed around 80 bugs on the point of sale and and yeah now the opinion process is awesome i guess